Hey everyone, welcome back to Buick Outdoors. If you're new around here, my name is Sheldon Marion, and today we're going to be doing a review of the Otter Vortex Pro Resort. Now, before we start setting this thing up, I just want to go over a couple of the uh, quick little specifications uh, on the dimensions and the bag itself. Uh, the bag is made out of 900 denier, uh, real tough fabric, and there's also a polymer bottom on it. So, here, I don't know if you can quite hear that or not but on the bottom uh, there's a hard plastic uh, coating on it and that way makes it a little bit easier to take your tent in and out of the bag and then also when you're sliding in and out of your truck or in your sleigh uh, it really protects the bottom so you don't uh, potentially rip and tear it and then making your bag completely useless uh, it's not a light tent uh, it's also not heavy it comes in at I believe 63 pounds and then the overall length is about 74 inches so that all being said i'm going to get this thing set up so i can show you the inside and a full walk around of the outside Well, here we go. We got her all set up here now. Uh, as you can see, it is uh, it's pretty big size. Uh, I believe overall square footage on the inside is 103 square feet, and it's six sided. You have this nice big snow skirt that goes all the way around, and on each corner, you have one tie off here or ice anchor spot here. You have a secondary one here and then also on each corner here you have these lines that you can pull out and you can anchor it in as well uh, with this here pull her out anchor it in tighten it up little buckle there now this tent it does come with ice anchors uh, because I'm in the driveway here, I don't have any of them in, but you can see there's a pile of ice anchors. Uh, in some places, you need a little registration tag that you pin up onto your tent. And then also with those ice anchors in, I'm sure once you pull up on each corner and you get a little bit more tension on the sides, uh, the inside here might get a little bit bigger. Uh, maybe a couple inches here and there kind of a thing but overall this thing is huge you know it's a six to eight person tent and uh there's plenty of room in here uh with this one this new model you have this manway door here and then you also have just like your regular kind of ice fishing tent door so here it is here, 
the big V style. And uh, with these ones, when you walk in, you know, you kind of have to duck your head a little bit. But then with the manway door here, you have this zipper right at the bottom and it opens all the way up. And then with this, take it, you have your little Velcro here and you can Velcro it open. Now one thing that's nice here uh, on the inside, you have these vertical windows. So when you're sitting down here and you wanna look out, uh, they're much lower than those ones that uh, kind of come typical with your ice fishing tents. So if you want to see outside, you have a tip up or anything like that, uh, you can easily see. Also with these windows right here, they're all Velcroed. So if you want to remove the window, you can just pull that right off. And it's just kind of the typical ice fishing tent windows, you know, just that kind of rubber. Uh, on the inside here, you have two vents. One on each side. Also on the inside here, you have these little compartments here. So you have a nice little storage compartment and then four rod holders. And that's on four of the six walls. One thing that you have in this tent as well is you got these little holes here. There's one on this side and there's also one on that side there. And what those are for is when you're running a propane heater or stove or anything like that. And if you don't want to have your propane bottle actually on the inside in case of potential leaks and stuff, uh, you can bring your bottle, set it out here. As long as you have a line for it, you open this up run your propane line through there and then that way not only does it save space but not having a propane bottle on the inside uh, you also uh, won't have any propane leaks well potential anyways oh uh, what else is there we got these nets here which are really handy and nice to have uh, if you have your heater down here you put all your stuff up here like your gloves jacket boot liners whatever and you can dry them out really quick and easy by putting them up there. And you got one on uh, each side here. And then also your manway door is just phenomenal. This is definitely one of the better things. So I am about five foot seven, five foot eight or so. And I gotta duck my head just slightly, but that compared to the regular doors, uh, it's a minor little thing, but when you're going in and out, or if you have kids or dogs or something, you know, just being able to go like this and just walk out, you don't, you're not tripping on anything down there, and it's easy to open, easy to close, it's all awkward. Just like that, away you go. So one thing that should be mentioned about this uh, door here. I'll get it all open here for you guys. That it comes with these poles. So you got one pole here, one pole up top, one pole down that side. Now the poles down each side are the same length, pull up top, obviously much shorter. And honestly, when you're setting this thing up, that's what takes the longest. Uh, to when, when I set this thing up, as you're walking around, I pull up the sides, come in here, push up on the top, or you can pull up the roof first and then do all the sides. I don't think it really matters. And then uh, just setting these poles in, uh, they can be a little tricky and uh, they all seem slightly too long on the sides here, but they do the job 
it keeps it nice wide open and uh yeah I i've tried it a few times now without the poles and the door still operates perfectly fine uh it's not a need to have and if you happen to break one or whatever i don't think you're gonna suffer now this material that it's made out of too it's extremely thick uh 600 denier uh thermal uh material so not only is it gonna keep a lot of the wind out it should help you quite a bit with the frost build up i know in uh, all my other tents they're not uh thermal tents at all and the frost in them is just absolutely terrible and so far what i've seen is the frost will sometimes collect along these little ridges and that's uh that's pretty well about it and then also when you button this thing up with it being thermal it doesn't get just a little dark in here it gets like black uh my other tents you can see every single little pinpoint where the thread has gone through so there's just like a million little holes in it where this one here you know the only little holes that you'll see is kind of like right in these little stitches here so you see a couple there and that's about it you know like i got that door open still so it's not completely dark in here but you know that's the only thing you see this material here there's there's nothing uh my other tents you can pretty well see right through it so even with it just somewhat closed it doesn't let any light in at all other than around some of the you know some of the windows but that's just because that is slightly open but anyways guys i think that there is going to wrap up this uh ice tent review uh, again it's the otter vortex pro resort with the thermal tech 600 near uh, insulation 103 square feet weighs about 63 pounds all packaged up it's about 74 inches long and uh that's this just wicked awesome door right there uh yeah i got nothing but good things to say about this tent and uh if you're around in canada i got this one from cabela's for i believe it was about 850 bucks so they are expensive uh you're not gonna go canadian tire and buy you know it's not like a cheap little 200 outbound or anything like that like it is costly but if you have the money and you have the means uh you know you really can't go wrong with this thing but anyways guys uh i hope you enjoyed this video if you did hit that like button down in the corner leave us a comment or two let me know what kind of tent you guys are running and uh who knows maybe one day we'll see you out there on the ice but anyways guys catch you on the next one